16-year-old Ahmet Shani is an Israeli hostage and they were taken hostage on October 7. They've been released by this latest cohort. Uh, he's a keen runner and surfer. He's one of nine children held hostage in Gaza, yet to be freed under that true steel, but will now be free. Olivia Casley joins me. Olivia, his sister, Mika, is actually in Australia and has reacted to the news. Well, Mika Shani was staying at a friend's place when Hamas gunmen entered Kibbutz Beri, which is where she lives with her family, killing 130 individuals and taking her 16-year-old brother hostage. She's part of this Israeli delegation that's visiting Australia this week, and they've really been trying to push the Albanese government to make more noise on the world stage to try and push for these individuals' release. She was involved in a protest on the lawns outside Parliament House on Tuesday, where she was really speaking of her despair at the fact that she had no idea about how her brother was going and she held real concerns for him. But she's received some fantastic news now. He's part of this cohort that will be freed in another Hamas hostage exchange and she's released this video. I just got the message that my brother Amit Shani got released from Gaza. Um, I'm beyond happy. I can't even explain my feelings. Uh, I'm currently in Australia in a delegation from Israel. Uh, and I'm going to take a flight right now back home to see him and meet him again after almost two months. So today's release obviously follows that first tranche of hostages that were released over the weekend. And Amika has said that she's now heading straight to Israel to see her brother for the first time in two months. Laura? Well, yeah, just extraordinary. Some good news coming out of some pretty awful things in that part of the world. Olivia, thank you.